In today's video, we will make an automatic irrigation system we'll use an ESP32, a soil moisture sensor, a relay, and the Blink app to control water automatically. If you also want your plant to get water only when it really needs it, then watch the video till the end will cover everything, the circuit diagram, coding, and Blink app setup. Hello friends, in today's video we'll make an automatic irrigation system using ESP32, a soil moisture sensor, a relay, and the Blink app. If you also want your plants to get water only when they need it, watch this video till the end. I'll explain the circuit, code, and Blink app setup step by step. I'm using a 5V2 channel relay module here, but in this project, I'll only use one relay. If you want, you can also use a 5V1 channel relay module, both work the same. So let's check the soil sensor's pinout. It has a total of four pins, VCC, GND, DO, and AO. DO means digital output and AO means analog output. Out of these, we will use only three pins, VCC, GND, and AO. Connect the VCC pin of the soil sensor to the VCC line on the breadboard and GND to the GND line on the breadboard. The AO pin, which is the analog output, should be connected to pin 34 of the ESP32. Connect the relay. Connect the VCC of the relay module to the VCC line of the breadboard. Then connect IN1 of the relay module to pin 25 of the ESP32. GND to the GND line of the breadboard. After that, I took two wires and connected the VIN pin of the ESP32 to the VCC line of the breadboard and the GND pin of the ESP32 to the GND line of the breadboard. I did this so that when we give 5V power to the breadboard, the ESP32 also gets powered. This way, we don't need to give an extra power supply to the ESP32. Now let's set up Blink for our automatic irrigation system. Open Blink website first, open your browser, and go to Blink.cloud. Log in with your Blink account. If you don't have an account, click on Sign Up and create one using your email. I already have a Blink account, so I will just log in. Then create a new template, now click on Templates from the left menu. Click on the plus New Template button. Give your template a name, for example, Irrigation System. Select Hardware, ESP32 and leave the connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click Done. Dot. Now we'll add two data streams. Click on the template name, then go to the Data Streams tab and click Plus New Data Stream, Name, Irrigation. Pin V1. Type Integer. Min 0, max 100. Click Create. For the second one, name Water Pump. Pin V0, type Integer. Min 0, max 1. Click Create. Go to the Devices tab on the left, then click Plus New Device. From Template, select your Irrigation System template and click Create. Now your device is created. Click on it and copy your auth token. Paste this token in your Arduino code where it says. Now the auth token you copied earlier, paste it in a notepad on your desktop so you can easily use it later. Then, go back to the Blink Web Dashboard. You will see a button that says Add New Widget. Dot. Click on it and first drag and drop a switch onto the screen. Now scroll down and you will see gauge. Drag and drop it onto the screen too. Tap on the screen and select the button widget. Tap on the button to open its settings. Set the pin to V0. Change the mode to switch. This button will control the relay manually.
Now add a gauge widget. Set the pin to V1. Set the range from 0 to 100. This will show the soil moisture percentage. Now your Blink app is ready. Upload the code to your ESP32 and run the system. Now open your code in the Arduino IDE. Once the code is open, go to the notepad where we saved our auth token earlier. Copy that token. At the top of the code where it says hashtag define, paste your token there. Just below that, you'll see three library names. Copy each one of them one by one and go to the library manager in Arduino IDE. In the search bar, paste each library name and install them. Now scroll a bit down in the code. You'll see SSID. Here, write your Wi-Fi name. First, open the Blink app on Below your mobile Below that, phone. you'll see Pass. Log in Here, with the type same ID that password. you used to set up Blink on the web dashboard. Now the project After this, dashboard go to the will tools open. menu, select you will the board see as add ESP32, widget written, 32, then again in tools, select From the here, correct port. Drag a finally, button, click on place upload it on to the upload screen. the code to your ESP32. Set up the button widget. Tap on the button widget to open settings. Select virtual pin V0. Set the mode to switch. You can write anything in the label, like water pump. Then add a gauge widget too. Set up the gauge widget. Tap on the gauge widget to open settings. Select virtual pin V1. Set the minimum value to zero and maximum value to 100. Now your Blink app setup is complete. Once your ESP32 is connected, you can control the pump using the button and you will see the soil moisture reading on the gauge. Now before showing the demo, I'm using a buck converter to power the circuit. I have connected two 3.7V batteries to its input and I've set the output to 5V. If you want, you can also use a regular 5V power supply instead. Now we will connect the 5V motor pump to the relay. First, take a jumper wire, connect one end to the breadboard's VCC line and the other end to the relay's COM, common, terminal. Connect the motor's VCC wire to the relay's NC, normally closed, terminal. Then connect the motor's GND wire directly to the breadboard's GND line. 